what is the best way to market your business? Well, here we're going to be diving into what is hands down the absolute best way to market your business online, build an engaged following and generate consistent revenue. And this is a marketing method that is very often overlooked and neglected by online business owners and marketers. And not only is it unbelievably effective, like killer effective, but it's crazy low cost too. I hope you're doing well over there, my friend. I am Jeff from 10tononline.com. Listen, if you want to escape the grind, build a fulfilling online business and launch a better tomorrow for yourself, then you're definitely in the right spot. So let's jump into the best way to market your business. Now, to help you along, because I know that it can feel very mysterious and complex and confusing and overwhelming and it can feel fearful and filled with anxiety and all kinds of stuff. So we got to put all these fires out. So in order to put all these fires out, what I've done is I've put together an online business jumpstart guide for you. This is a free PDF download. It's an easy to follow guide that gives you a solid foundation and blueprint for you and for your online business. Essentially what we do is we take what you've already got, your existing skills and knowledge and preferences and the sorts of things that you like to work on and the kind of business that you want to build. And we leverage all of that to figure out ways to serve the exact sorts of people that you want to work with through your online business. This free guide really helps to lay things out and helps you get clear on all this stuff, putting all these fires out, right? And develop a solid plan for you to follow for your business. Go ahead and grab your free guide right now over at 10 tononlinecom forward slash jump. And be sure to stick around to the end of this video where I will show you how you can gain access to even deeper training that goes much, much further. This is completely free training, but it's really intended for folks who are serious about building a successful and profitable and fulfilling online business. So stick around to the end of the video and I'll show you how you can gain access. So let's jump into the best way to market your business. Now, I'm sure you would agree that there are lots and lots and lots of ways to promote and market your online business. You could, for example, get into social media marketing. You might decide to run paid ads, also known as paid traffic. You could look at listing your business, maybe in directories. I mean, it goes on and on and on. But as I alluded to at the beginning of this video, there is one method for marketing your online business that absolutely crushes all others. Believe me, I've tried them all. This is absolutely killer. And that is, I hope you're sitting down, plain old fashioned email. Yeah, email, boring, plain, simple, archaic perhaps, but guess what? It works incredibly well, way, way better than some of the other approaches to marketing your online business that you could take. In fact, ignoring and not leveraging the power of email is a huge, massive mistake. Online business owners and marketers who aren't easily wooed by the latest marketing trend or social media platform or hot tactic or whatever, who've maybe been burned a time or two before, know and understand the subtle power and importance of email for their business. And the reason why email is so powerful is this. People on your email list have asked to be there. They asked to be there when they subscribed. They volunteered. They're asking you to tell them more about what you do and to help them with their unique problems. And that, my friend, is absolutely huge. This is what permission marketing is all about, if you've ever heard the phrase before. In other words, the people on your email list who have subscribed to your email list have given you permission to market to them. In fact, if you're sending out consistent, valuable, and quality content for your email subscribers, this is almost like getting blog posts delivered straight into their inboxes on a regular basis. In this way, email allows us to connect directly with our subscribers. And who are our subscribers? Customers, absolutely and potential customers. In other words, sales leads, crucial, right? And what we can do is we can consistently provide them with valuable information and offers for our products and our services that will help them get the results that they want. Contrast this against any other marketing method or approach that you could possibly think of. Contrast this against social media. 
things move so fast on social media platforms that it's difficult to really gain traction or to create a similar kind of connection with the people who use these sorts of platforms. Not to mention, you and I have both experienced this. We've witnessed it for ourselves. Social media platforms come and go. I'm old enough to remember MySpace and Dig. Do you remember Dig and Friendster? Oh my gosh. Do you remember Google Plus? What a train wreck that was. That should be a case study that totally debunks the myth, build it and they will come. Anyway, I remember when Facebook first hit and everyone was building business pages and followings for their businesses and for their websites. But I remember back then something about all that just didn't sit right with me. Something was off. Building a business page for my online business felt like I was giving up too much control. Like I was working really, really hard to plant my crops on some other farmer's field and he could come along at any time and boot me off or prevent me from reaping all of the, all the effort and all the work that I'd put into this thing. Well, guess what? It's years ago now, it's ancient history now, but back then suddenly Facebook decided to change their rules and cut off marketers at the knees and cut off business owners ability to reach their followers unless of course they paid to reach them. So where I'm going with all this is with social media, we are on someone else's platform. We're on rented land. We're on someone else's turf and not just anyone's turf, big tech's turf. And they can do whatever the heck they want. We have to abide by their ever changing terms of service. And worse, trying to move the audience that you worked so hard to build on one social media platform to another social media platform is practically impossible. But check this out with email. We own our list. It's ours. Yes, people can subscribe and unsubscribe. It's a, a voluntary thing, but that actual list, we own it. It's ours. It's our property. We can move our list to different email marketing providers if we want. We can download our list to our subscribers. We can back it up. We can stick it on a thumb drive and put it in our pocket. It's ours. And of course, like I said just a second ago, our subscribers are free to come and go as they please. If what we're sending out isn't a good fit for some of them, then of course they are completely free to unsubscribe. See, where I'm going with all of this is the following. What motivates someone to follow us on social media? Well, those motivations are very different from what motivates people to sign up for our email list. With email, what motivates people to sign up is because they believe they can get something for themselves which is totally fine. That's human nature. It's nothing to get all bent out of shape over. That's just how people are. What they're hoping to get for themselves is great information. They want value and they want fixes for their frustrating and challenging problems. But with social media, when we subscribe or follow someone on one of these platforms, it's largely because we enjoy their content. We like what they post. Maybe they're posting funny stuff or enjoyable stuff or whatever. We want to be entertained by them. And that is very, very different than email. So honestly, my friend, if you asked me, I would much rather have a small but loyal and engaged list of email subscribers over a social media account on some big tech platform that had thousands and thousands of unengaged social media followers. In fact, consider this, the social media algorithms largely control what people see online, right? Well, email is one of the last things, really stop and think about this, because this is like, dang, email is one of the final <laughs> bastions that isn't controlled by some giant tech corporation. They don't own or control email protocols, but they do own and control their platforms and they do own and control their algorithms. Like open web protocols, email is one of the last open standards left where no entity, entity, entity <laughs> controls or owns it, which means no one can interject or get between the sender and the receiver. So in a big, big way, email marketing and doing it well is your pathway to being independent online, independent from the walled gardens, the algorithms and the terms of service that govern big tech social media platforms that can wipe out online business owners and marketers overnight. 
With email, you aren't dependent on some giant tech corporation's platform and you aren't at their mercy. In fact, as an online business owner, there are really just two things that you completely own and control online. Online, you really can only control your website and your email list. That is it. You and I, we can download our email list and our website to our computer. Like I alluded to a few minutes ago, you can back it up. You can move it elsewhere if need be. You can stick it in your pocket and take it with you wherever you go. These two things are really the only two things that we can own and control online. Everything else is just rented, including your domain name. That makes these two things, your website and your email list, incredibly valuable. So then why doesn't email and email marketing get more attention? Well, you know why? It's not hot, it's not trendy, it's not sexy. I mean, it's sort of like a Toyota Helix, if you know what a Toyota Helix is. It certainly isn't anything to look at. <laughs> it isn't sexy. It's been around forever. It really hasn't changed since it first came out. It's reliable, it's pretty simple, and it simply gets the job done. And email doesn't get a whole lot of attention because no big tech corporation can make huge money off of it. How can Google or Facebook or Twitter or any other one of them profit from you owning and controlling your own email list? They can't. <laughs> they can't sell ads on your list. They can't force you to boost your emails and so on. So email marketing gets practically zero hype. All right, now listen, if you are enjoying all of this, if you're ready to take the next big steps forward, I mean, this is awesome stuff. And I would love to continue this conversation with you. And let's do that over at 10tononline.com forward slash sales. Now, what you're going to find there is a full speed online sales seminar. This is a completely free self-paced online workshop that really gives you all the components and pieces you're going to need to start generating sales and revenue and profits online. And I have to stress here in an honest and ethical way, what we're going to do is take this notion of selling, which feels kind of gross and kind of icky and makes you want to puke. And we basically flip it on its head and we take a much more honest and ethical approach to selling. Really here, it's all about service. I hope you'll join me over there in just a second.